The fabulous Denisovan bracelet, unearthed from the Denisova cave in Siberia, has become a landmark discovery in our understanding of prehistoric technology. This remarkable artifact, believed to be over 40,000 years old, challenges long-held assumptions about the technological capabilities of ancient human species, particularly the Denisovans. This intricately crafted piece not only raises questions about the technological skills of non-homo sapiens, but also suggests that prehistoric humans were far more advanced than previously assumed. The bracelet is made from chlorite, a relatively soft stone that is nonetheless challenging to work with due to its brittleness. The piece features an impeccably smooth finish and a hole drilled with such precision that it would require advanced tools and steady hands to replicate today. Incredibly, the hole is believed to have been created using a high-speed drilling technique, with rotation speeds estimated at 3,000 revolutions per minute. This level of craftsmanship is typically associated with much later technological periods and is unparalleled in Paleolithic artifacts. The bracelet also bears evidence of polishing, likely achieved with leather and fine abrasive materials. This suggests that the Denisovans possessed not only the technical ability to craft such an object, but also the aesthetic sensibilities to create a work of art. The sophistication of the bracelet implies that it held significant cultural or symbolic value, possibly as a status symbol. For decades, the narrative of human evolution centered on the idea that Homo sapiens were the sole bearers of advanced technology and culture. The discovery of the Denisovan bracelet disrupts this paradigm and highlights the need to reassess our understanding of non-sapiens human groups. The Denisovan bracelet is not merely a functional object, it is an expression of symbolic thinking and artistic sensibility. Symbolic thinking is a hallmark of modern human cognition, involving the ability to create objects with meanings beyond their utilitarian purposes. The bracelet's craftsmanship and probable ornamental use suggests that Denisovans had an aesthetic sense and possibly engaged in symbolic or ritualistic practices. Previously, it was believed that advanced tool-making and artistry were largely the domain of Homo sapiens. However, this artifact indicates that Denisovans were capable of mastering complex manufacturing techniques, including drilling, polishing, and creating tools with mechanical precision. What's more, there is no requirement for incredible evidence to make the claim that humans, other than modern humans, were capable of creating incredible objects of beauty when we consider that Denisovans and Neanderthals are merely physically robust branches of the Homo sapiens family tree. We shouldn't regard large, physically robust skulls and bones as being primitive, but rather as adaptations to the rigors of the Ice Age. Additionally, the hole drilled into the bracelet which likely secured a string or fastening mechanism, shows signs of repeated stress. This suggests the bracelet may have been fastened and unfastened frequently, hinting at its importance to the wearer. It could have been an item imbued with symbolic or status-related significance, worn as a marker of identity, rank or affiliation within Denisovan society. As stated, the bracelet's most intriguing feature is the precision-drilled hole believed to have been made using a tool operating at approximately 3,000 revolutions per minute, a speed that implies advanced technology far ahead of its time. Understanding the sources or methods for achieving such a high-speed drill during the Paleolithic era challenges conventional assumptions about ancient toolmaking and technology. An Paleolithic tool known as a cord drill, operated with rapid hand or foot movements, could reach high speeds. A cord drill is an ancient tool similar in concept to a fire-starting drill, but uses a straight cord or rope to rotate the spindle. This design is particularly efficient for achieving high speeds and is often used for drilling holes in various materials. The wrapping of a cord around the spindle could allow for rapid alternations of rotation direction, minimizing downtime. Additionally, sing lubricated bearings, such as polished bone or smooth wood sockets, could reduce resistance, enabling faster rotations. Nevertheless, whether this tool could reach speeds up to 3,000 revolutions per minute is still theoretical. Furthermore, a weighted spindle, possibly incorporating a stone or bone weight, could increase angular momentum.
The weight helps maintain consistent speed by converting input energy into stored rotational energy. Rapid manual spinning could sustain higher speeds for brief periods. While the use of effective drill materials and abrasive agents is a plausible component of the technique, these alone cannot fully account for such high speeds. Instead, the combination of mechanical principles and potentially unknown innovations must be considered. Denisovans would have needed to combine mechanical drilling with the use of abrasive materials to aid in the precision and speed of the process. Fine sand, quartz or other minerals could have been applied to the drill tip, acting as a cutting agent to enhance the tool's efficiency. The drill tip itself may have been made from a hard material like flint, or even a composite tool reinforced with natural adhesives. These capabilities place the Denisovans closer to Homo sapiens in terms of cognitive and technological sophistication. It also suggests that the Denisovans had a structured system, where skills and techniques were taught and refined over generations. The Denisovan bracelet also encourages researchers to re-examine other artifacts from the Paleolithic period with a fresh perspective. Many tools and ornaments previously attributed to Homo sapiens may in fact have been created by other groups, including Denisovans and Neanderthals. The possibility that these groups independently developed or contributed to technological advancements is reshaping the narrative of human prehistory. Detailed analysis of the Denisovan bracelet reveals fascinating insights into its history, use, and even the circumstances of its eventual breakage. Microscopic examination of the artifact shows signs of wear consistent with long-term use, as well as specific patterns of damage that have led to intriguing theories about its final fate and the social status of its wearer. The bracelet's surface displays smoothness in areas that suggest it was worn frequently, likely on the wrist. Polishing from contact with the skin and clothing indicates that the bracelet was not merely a ceremonial object, but a personal adornment used in daily life or significant events. The chlorite material's relatively soft nature made it susceptible to minor abrasions. Yet the artifact retains an astonishing level of preservation, suggesting the Denisovans employed care and expertise in its maintenance. Another striking feature of the bracelet is the fracture indicating that it was broken at some point in its history. Scholars studying the artifact have theorized that this breakage may not have been accidental. The fracture pattern suggests that significant force was applied, likely in a single impactful event. Given the artifact's robustness and the care taken in its creation, archaeologists believe it is unlikely that it would have broken during routine wear. Some researchers even propose that the bracelet may have been damaged during a violent encounter. This theory is supported by the context of its discovery in the Denisova cave, a site that also yielded remains of large predators, including cave lions and bears. One possibility is that the bracelet was broken in an animal attack, potentially while the wearer was defending themselves. Another theory posits that the breakage occurred during an interpersonal conflict, or a raid involving rival groups, which were not uncommon in prehistoric societies. By this period, Homo sapiens were equipped with advanced tools and weapons, including projectiles and spears, which could have caused the damage observed on the bracelet. Indeed, the Denisovan bracelet is dated to a time when Denisovans, Neanderthals, and early Homo sapiens coexisted in overlapping geographic ranges. Nevertheless, the arrival of anatomically modern humans in Denisovan territory may not have been entirely peaceful. Competition for resources, territory and dominance could have led to conflicts between these groups. The Denisova cave, where the bracelet was discovered, is located in southern Siberia, a region where Denisovans thrived for tens of thousands of years. Around 40,000 years ago, early Homo sapiens were expanding into central Eurasia, encountering established populations of Denisovans and Neanderthals. The timing aligns with a period of significant population movements and interactions that could have included both peaceful exchanges and confrontations. As stated, the fracture on the bracelet suggests that it was subjected to a sudden, forceful impact. This type of breakage is unlikely to occur during routine wear or even accidental drops. Instead, the damage may point to a more dramatic event, such as physical conflict or an aggressive encounter. If the wearer was caught in a struggle, 
the bracelet could have been shattered during combat. One of the most compelling aspects of the Denisovan bracelet is the implication that it was worn by someone of high status, such as a high-ranking female. The intricate craftsmanship of the bracelet suggests that it was not a utilitarian object, but a luxury item, likely reserved for someone of significant social or cultural importance. The positioning of the bracelet within the cave also provides context. It was found near the fossils of a young Denisovan, and some have speculated that it may have been an heirloom passed down through generations, or an object of personal significance buried with its wearer. If the bracelet's wearer was indeed a high-ranking female, it further underscores the complexity and sophistication of Denisovan society. If the bracelet belonged to a high-ranking female, its breakage during a violent encounter could symbolize more than just physical conflict. In many ancient societies, women of high status played significant roles in cultural and social structures. The destruction of an artifact associated with such an individual could represent an attempt to undermine the social order of the Denisovan population. The high value placed on the bracelet is evident in its intricate craftsmanship and the resources required to create it. The loss or damage of such an item during a violent encounter would have carried deep, symbolic and emotional significance for the Denisovans. The destruction of the bracelet underscores the symbolic importance of crafted objects in prehistoric societies. The breakage of the bracelet reminds us that prehistoric artifacts are not static relics, but dynamic pieces of history that carry stories of human interaction, conflict and resilience. The bracelet is a remarkable testament to the technological and cultural sophistication of Denisovans. Its breakage, potentially during a violent encounter with early Homo sapiens, adds a layer of intrigue to its story. This theory highlights the complexities of prehistoric human interaction, where moments of creativity and collaboration were often interspersed with competition and conflict. The wear and breakage of the Denisovan bracelet provide a unique lens through which to view the lives of its creators and users. The evidence of prolonged use suggests that it was a cherished object, imbued with meaning far beyond its material value. The breakage adds an element of drama to its history, hinting at the challenges and dangers faced by Denisovan society. These features also emphasize the bracelet's dual role as both a functional and symbolic object. As a personal adornment, it demonstrated the wearer's status and possibly their role within a broader social or spiritual system. As an artifact, it now serves as a powerful reminder of the sophistication, resilience and creativity of Denisovans, challenging us to rethink the technological and social capabilities of ancient human populations. Creating such an artifact requires not only technical skill, but also social structures that support specialization. In a hunter-gatherer society, individuals would need to be freed from immediate subsistence activities to focus on crafting. This implies a level of resource abundance and social organization that allowed for division of labor. Given the geographic and biological proximity of Denisovans to Neanderthals and early modern humans, it is also plausible that these groups interacted and exchanged knowledge. The Denisovan bracelet could be a product of such cross-species collaboration or influence, highlighting the interconnectedness of ancient human populations. The precision of the bracelet calls into question other archaeological finds that have been dismissed as anomalies or misattributed to Homo sapiens. Similar artifacts may exist, but have been overlooked due to biases in interpreting the capabilities of non-sapiens humans. While the Denisovan bracelet is a groundbreaking find, it also underscores the limitations of our current archaeological knowledge. The Denisovan bracelet is part of a growing body of evidence suggesting that the evolutionary tree of humans is more complex and interconnected than previously thought. The discovery challenges the notion of a linear progression of technological and cultural advancements, instead pointing to a mosaic of innovation across different human groups. The bracelet is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of our ancient relatives. Its discovery has profound implications for our understanding of human evolution, challenging the assumption that Homo sapiens were the sole bearers of advanced technology and culture. By highlighting the technological prowess of Denisovans, 
the bracelet invites us to reconsider the capabilities of all human groups and the rich, interconnected tapestry of human prehistory. As new discoveries continue to emerge, the Denisovan bracelet serves as a powerful reminder that our ancestors were far more sophisticated than we often give them credit for. It also underscores the importance of maintaining an open mind in the study of human history, recognizing that even the most unexpected finds can reshape our understanding of who we are and where we come from. The bracelet suggests that advanced cognitive abilities, including abstract thinking, problem-solving and planning, were not exclusive to Homo sapiens. The Denisovan bracelet is a reminder that much of human history remains undiscovered. Thank you for watching the video to the end, and let us know what you think in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel.